Hello, I'm Rogan, and this may seem like a repeat of the video why I deleted Dark and Heart, but I think it's time I clean, clean about the real reasons I deleted it. And also, that video was put together in three minutes, so it'd be better to have a permanent video explaining in depth why I deleted it, without having it look like a literal slideshow. I'd like to say to Dark and Heart as a channel is not coming back. I've practically retired the Sona I used for Darganheart, except for the occasional vent, and I made a pretty serious oath to someone I'm close to in real life that I wouldn't do drama videos ever again. So don't tell me you want Darganheart back, it's not happening. If you still have interest in my non-drama content though, you can subscribe to me at Arcane. It is the same URL as my Darganheart channel, as I delete the Darganheart channel and then create the 4K channel, in order to not have people who subscribe to me for drama, content, rush over there and subscribe to it. The videos on this channel are the only ones I've saved from Dark and Heart and no others probably exist. I decided not to post my Draconator video because it was outdated, poorly done, and didn't have enough evidence. I also did not repost any of my love alluring content because I didn't want another wave of haters about my voice. And that was the first drama video I ever did, so it's even more outdated than the Draconator video. In the future, this channel will be used to host things I haven't published on my Arcane channel due to the channel schedule, such as shit posts and maybe a few map parts. Other than that, I don't see much of use for it other than answering your questions on certain dramas and clearing up misconceptions. My Mando Pony video was not struck by Mando Pony, it was just deleted with the rest of my channel. A thing people commonly get wrong is the background of my channel and my motivation for creating videos, so I'll discuss that first before getting to why I deleted the channel. Dragonheart, contrary to popular belief, is not a misspelling of Dragonheart. It's the name of a character in a novel I attempted to write when I was 11, and it was the first novel I wrote to reach a thousand words. Obviously, I never completed it, but I kept the username because of how proud I was. It was the first stable username I had, as I went through three usernames in a year before that, and I kept the username for over four years. I was kinda sad to see it go, but that name did no wonders for my search algorithm results, and if you try to search dark and hard to this day, the only thing you're gonna get is a bunch of shitty movies. And so, my motivation for making videos, particularly drama videos, was information. Even with older fandom events, such as Draconator, I noticed a lack of information and a lot of misconceptions. With new events, I wanted to make sure that everyone knew about them, so I took that burden upon myself. Yes, it was absolutely a savior complex. I felt pressure to help everyone, and because of that, I kept on getting into drama. So without further ado, let's discuss exactly why I quit. The reasons I provided in my slideshow video were, of course, true. I was receiving consistent harassment on my videos, even after I unlisted them. One of the major sources of this was my lovely Loring video and its follow-up, where people were mainly talking negatively about my voice. This impacted me for a really long time, and even now I have trouble talking on camera because of how much damage that has caused me. Second of all, was a direct contact by someone who I talked about, Kuma the Droomer, aka Snailbelly, aka Thistletown. On Twitter, they hacked an anti-Kuma account that I had been in contact with and added me. Naturally, I checked the account as I was mutuals with them, only to find it overrun with porn and OnlyFans ad. That was m major yikes for me and eventually we were able to get control of the account back and we cleaned all that up. Third was people contacting me wanting my opinion on situations. This was happening constantly and I felt like I had a lot of pressure on me to say the right things. Especially when the people asking for my opinion were people who I looked up to, or they were a victim of someone. One day, I was in the middle of a straight up chat room war when I was at school. I remarked to my friend, who was not terminally online, that I hated whenever this happened. And she said something that changed my life, to be honest. Well, you could just not get into drama. It's not your fault if you don't report on everything. And I realized it was as simple as that, and from that point on, almost a month later, I made the choice to unlist all my drama videos and stop making them, because I didn't want to feel that type of pressure again. My second major reason for deleting the channel was that it simply didn't suit me anymore and I felt like it was causing me to seek out trauma. Let me explain. 
I built most of my audience off of drama videos. Because of that, whenever I did animations, I didn't get as many views, even though my animations oftentimes took up way more time than my drama videos, as I scripted my drama videos in school and it was relatively easy to edit using my software. At the time, I tended to base my feelings on views, a mindset that I'm still trying to escape, and since views were happiness and drama videos got views, I kept on doing them. The cycle kept on continuing until the encounter with a friend I mentioned earlier. Even then, when I cut off drama videos, I was surprised when my views declined. My art was improving at that time, and art tends to improve when you're not under a constant state of stress, as I have observed, and my style was at its peak on that channel during that time. Even though I had 6,000 subscribers, my views were even breaking, weren't even breaking 100. And the reason for that is everyone loves drama, and drama is interesting, and simply my animations weren't interesting enough as drama. People would come there to my channel for drama, and since I wasn't making those videos anymore, they weren't watching. I'd made my bed and now I had to lie on it. But then the thought occurred to me, I could just sledgehammer the bed and start a new bed. Have a new audience. It might not be as large, but maybe then they would actually care about my work, and not constantly swamp me because of my opinions. I set up a date and saved up some videos for the new channel, and so on May the 28th, after just a year of actually running Darkenheart, I deleted the channel, which no reference of where I was going besides on my social media accounts. I simply didn't want that kind of toxicity to follow me to the new channel, and I didn't want to feel encouraged to make that content again. Since then, I've definitely been happier. I can post what I want, and I of course have improved my art seeing as I'm not mentally stressed anymore. I've gotten more involved in a tiny bit of drama, however, only when I feel like it's truly necessary. Like for example, there's a predator in the community or someone straight up harassing one of my friends. Otherwise, I try not to pick fights and stick my nose where it doesn't belong. So yeah, that's the full story on my deleted channel. From harassment, drama, and realizing it wasn't encouraging me to be my best self. The channel isn't coming back, and it never will. I feel like my Darkenheart phase taught me a lot about different things. Psychology, debate, reason, diplomacy, and it even gave me my online name, Rogan. Sometimes I go into my hard drive and scroll through the videos and photos folder. Sometimes I look at it nostalgically before I remember all the pressure I was feeling. I'm really glad that I deleted my channel because ensures I never ever will have to regress back to that stage in my life again. I'm also glad that I deleted when I did because of a cycle that I've noticed. Part of the reason I did drama videos was to record fandom history and, you know, history is a circle and I've noticed a pattern. People blow up too quickly, get into too much drama as they don't know how to handle themselves with their newfound fame, and eventually a straw breaks the camel's back and everything tumbles down. I've seen this countless times happen in many fandoms, and I've seen it happen maybe around four times in a Warrior Cats fandom alone. I'm glad there was no straw for me, however that straw may have been my own realization of the road I was going down leading to nothing but further unhappiness, but trying to squish myself into a box to satisfy the needs of others. I'm sorry it took so long to give a proper response. The slideshow video was meant to be a placeholder, and I'm sorry that I became permanent and left y'all with a lot of questions. If you still have any, then comment them down below as I'll be checking frequently. Right now, I'm posting actively on my Arcane channel. If you are still interested in my work, such as book commentary and animation, they're over there and they are much better than anything I ever did on Darkenheart. That's all, peace out and live your best lives.